get a straight up summary weekend coming our way with some minor issues out there. And a great example of that is what's going on just down to the south. It has been absolutely quiet this morning since we had a rumble of thunder or two at around Bardstown fizzle out just past midnight. But look at that. Uh, there's a lone shower that has been drifting across eastern Owsley County. The map in motion shows the development of it. It pulsed up. It got strong and now it's starting to diminish, but it's going to make it into western Breathitt County there. Uh, there's going to be this low end threat every day throughout the weekend of isolated showers and thunder showers, especially in our southern county. So just keep that in mind because I have a feeling there are going to be a lot of people outside, especially uh, you know out at the local lakes as you get down to say Lake Cumberland or even Lake Harrington. So uh, just be aware of that. High pressure is hanging around. It's just not quite strong enough to completely eliminate that chance for isolated showers that you see there. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, more of the same. That high is a little more toward the Tennessee border, and then it starts to meander off to the east. So by the end of the weekend, Sunday, you start to notice a better chance for some scattered showers and storms across western Kentucky, and then it'll become a much more oh, it'll become much more of an issue for us into early next week around the Monday, Tuesday time frame. The precipitation has certainly been hit or miss. Uh, you're talking about anywhere between a half an inch to over an inch of rain over the past 24 hours, and it's all primarily been into eastern Kentucky. And if you look at how dry it has been, uh, this is still largely unchanged. Western counties way, way wetter uh, with that below normal precipitation still showing up from the bluegrass in eastern Kentucky. And the updated drought map shows that uh, dryness that we've got there, abnormally dry in the areas that are running uh, below average and moderate drought starting to set up in Indiana and Ohio. You want to talk about some serious rain? Let's talk about the tropics, that swirl of low pressure that you see down over the Gulf and that secondary one that you see out east. Double tropical trouble. You've got Hannah and you've got Gonzalo. Uh, tropical storm Gonzalo is going to track east or I should say west into the uh, southern Windward Islands. So by early next week, week into a depression, according to the National Hurricane Center, south of Haiti and the Dominican Republic. The one that bears watching, it could be a huge rainmaker, is along the coast of Texas. Talking about Hannah. It'll strengthen potentially a strong tropical storm at landfall by tomorrow. And then as it moves inland, that's where it could turn into a major rainmaker, especially as it gets into the higher uh, elevations there, uh, the uh, Mexico mountains. Now, as far as what's going on here, we've got sunshine. We've got warmth. It's 83 degrees. It's mid 80s in Frankfurt, low 80s in Jackson. We should be in the upper 80s for highs. The dew point's still in the upper 60s to low 70s. So the heat index is going to be running around the low to mid 90s this weekend. The heat is on. Not extreme, not a heat advisory. It's just going to be a very warm and muggy summer weekend. And we're going to keep things pretty static through the weekend. Partly to mostly to partly sunny skies. That isolated shower storm threat that I talked about each afternoon, primarily down south. So keep an eye out for that. Next week, we may peak around 90 by the end of the weekend. Then here come the showers, the storms, Monday into Tuesday looking active. And then a bit of a cool down. We could have a day or two where we actually drop a degree or below uh, two below our average high. So got that out there at the end of the eighth day.